Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Greg Johnson, Industry Practice Lead at Moody's Analytics. And today, we're going to spend some time talking about supply chain, you as a supplier to your customers and what that relationship means uh, to the risk associated with credit. I thought I'd, I'd touch on just a couple, a couple of, of sort of what I'll call traditional credit variables, things that I've used in my career from, from the day I graduated from college and became a credit analyst. If you're looking at any of those and you're looking across all suppliers, then you might not be getting the real picture as it pertains to you. And we'll talk about how important is your business as a supplier, supply chain company, provider of, of, of goods and services. How important are those goods and services to your individual customer? customers are going to pay their suppliers differently based on how critical that supplier is to their supply chain. And when they go into stress, that's going to change because those that are most important will continue to be paid on time. And you're going to see the pain, unfortunately, with the least critical. And to illustrate it, I chose a restaurant just because it's something you're mostly familiar with. But if you think about the suppliers in a restaurant. The most critical thing for a restaurant is these beverages. Why? Because it drives an incredible amount of profit. So while it may take numerous drinks to add up to the price of, a, of an incredible steak, the dollars that are kept in their pocket in profit are significantly higher. So when it comes to times of stress, they're going to continue to, to, to try to supply this and to keep paying their vendors on time so that they can continue to get the best. Conversely, as you look down to things that are less critical, and I just came up with this notion of fancy toothpicks, right? Maybe you don't need fancy toothpicks. Times get tough. I'm going to say, maybe you need to hold the, the hamburger or the sandwich together with your fingers because I can't afford toothpicks, <laughs> right? Um, but I think you get the point. As, as the stress worsens, the, uh, the delays in payment or the slowing in payment and the elimination or slowing in spend increases until it gets to the point where if it gets bad enough, then it's going to go all the way to the top. And that's you know, when things get to be really difficult. So understanding the, the, um, the relationship of you as a supplier to your customer is important. And it's, it's, it's a little tough sometimes because we all like to think we're, we're critical, but if you really take a minute and, and dig deep into it, if you understand where you fit in, you'll see if you look at payment behavior information at an industry level, you'll see the hierarchy form. Your company's relevance to their supply chain is important because wherever the customers view you are the least important, that's one of the first places I'm going to start collecting aggressively when I think that things are going to turn and there's going to be stress like we're in right now. Let's take the time now and understand who's most important or who we're most important to and who we're not as important to. And maybe that informs a new collections treatment strategy and a way to prioritize the collections. So think about how they're paying your industry specifically and that unique relationship between that type of customer and your industry as a supplier. And I think that's one thing that we picked up, this notion of understanding how your customer is paying others in your industry. And we've got some interesting concepts using machine learning and AI that's, uh, that's evolving in that kind of restating the risk and in, in modeling our credit score to reflect that unique relationship and the difference in risk, looking at, uh, at the risk at a one-to-one at a -one level as opposed to a, a one to many type of a relationship and peanut buttering it, if you will, across it. And we certainly would welcome the chance to chat with you more about it. So uh, I want to thank you all for your time this afternoon. I hope you found it valuable and uh, we look forward to speaking with you here in the not too distant future.